From Africa, we started uh, supporting the charity a few years ago. We did a, a fundraiser here at Pollen Street Social for a lot of the top CEOs in our industry who were climbing Kilimanjaro to raise funds for Farm Africa. We have two free charities we help every year and Farm Africa is very much at the top of our list. And we just want to give back. You know, our, it's really important to me that our company has a very solid philanthropy message to give out to the next generation because that's what it's all about, teaching the next generation to give back. It's not just about take, it's about giving back. And us as chefs, we create beautiful food which people are willing to pay a lot of money for. So we have a natural gift to be able to present for you beautifully, make it taste great. So why don't we, two or three times a year, just get together to raise money for a great cause. And this is exactly what this is. This is a great cause in one night. The reason why I got involved with the Gala Ball is, first of all, London is, is become a great city for restaurants. Right. And so I'm very lucky to be in my career element right now of owning four of London's prominent restaurants. And London gives me so much as a chef and a restaurateur that I like to give back. And Farm Africa is, is a charity what's close to our hearts. Yeah. Um, you know, these people um, have an opportunity to help themselves if we can help them. So for us to be able to just do a gala dinner you know, for a few hundred people, raise some really serious money to be able to give them the opportunity to have a better life, why would I not want to get involved? You know, throughout the year, there is so many fundraisings going on in London. So why are we different? Why are we doing something unique with Farm Africa? I'd like to believe that not only are we bringing a little bit of Pollen Street Social, my flagship restaurant, to you this evening, we're also bringing a wonderful opportunity to network get to know one another and understand the real principles of why we share food. Food is for sharing, you know, I say this in my restaurants all the time, you're sitting down at my dinner table, you're here to enjoy food for me and my brigade and we're going to talk and we're going to discuss about what's in the flavours, why they're there, you're going to enjoy them, you, it's going to provoke um, not, not only just conversation about the textures, the ingredients, but why we're doing it, you know? You know, we're a big family and we're here to help Farm Africa raise really good money for a really great cause. To give these people a real fighting chance to make something of their lives. Like we've been given the opportunity to make some of our lives, we can give a little bit, we're talking one night here, one night to give that little bit back to give these families a chance a real, real chance of making something of their life. And I don't think that's too much to ask from our busy schedules. When you create a menu for this amount of people, you've got to be sensible. That's crucial because you're feeding a lot of people with three dishes, technically. So you've got to make sure they're universally loved. And in Great Britain, we love beef. So that was my first port of call. I wanted to use beef because we're a beef nation lover. So that was the main thing for, them, for the main course. This time of year, it's cold outside, full Scottish pomp puree, you can't go wrong with that. Braised oxtail, back in the bone with the bone marrow. Already I'm getting excited about the fact that I can taste these flavours bouncing off my palate. Beautiful roast vegetables, this time of year root veg, crucial to our, to our, not only to our diets, but also just our enjoyment of food. It's perfectly seasonable for this time of year. With the dessert, we've had a little bit more fun. So using mangoes, you know, Africa, Farm Africa, try to Im implement that a little bit. We've pulled in jalapenos, the chili element, we've used coconut. So my inspiration for that was a little bit more towards Africa. So we've created hopefully a very tropical dessert with some beautiful tropical flavors, but brought it home a little bit with some European sensibilities. For the starter, it's still wild game season. I'm a big game fan. So we've done a beautiful mallard salad blueberry fluid gel, a nice Castellabranco salad, using the bones from the wild duck to make a beautiful little dressing, which just, we warm up at the last minute and just dress the leaves so they just gently warm by the time they get to the table. So that's the menu for tonight. What everyone has to remember at this ball is each single table will raise 3,500 pounds per table of 10, 350 pounds a head. That takes 10 families out of hunger. So that, to me, is the number one message. Number two is, I want to give people a great time with my menu. I want to produce food, what these people expect at a Michelin star level. They can have for, for two, 300 people at a banquet and have a great time, network, enjoy themselves. So we get to it home on two fronts. And that to me is why I'm excited about tonight.